Welcome to the Surin Islands. Are you ready for a tropical adventure like no other? Pack your bags, grab your sunscreen, and join us on an epic camping trip to the Surin Islands. For three days, two nights, we're gonna explore the breathtaking beauty of this paradise, visit the isolated Mokin village, and make memories that last a lifetime. You know, it's not very often that I'm left speechless by beauty. How beautiful the world is, like. Yeah. Get ready for some serious beach camping and witness the clearest water and most vibrant coral reefs you've ever seen. So sit back, relax, and join us on a journey to the Surin Islands. Our Surin adventure began in Rayleigh, where we boarded a long tail boat and embarked on a three hour minibus journey to Kolok. The next morning, we started early and took a private car to the small port town of Churaburi, where we are now. Sweet, thank you so much. Good morning, you're never gonna believe where we're going. We are going to Thailand's best kept secret, the Surin Islands. We're so excited to share with you guys this beautiful untouched paradise. The reefs here are supposed to be world class, like yeah, the best of, the of best. Thailand. So we've just checked in and we are going with Sabina Tours, which was the cheapest option available that we could find. Can't wait to show you guys this beautiful island. We're so excited. We're the last ones on the boat, so we got the front seats, which are the best ones. Probably gonna get a little wet. For those of you wondering how much it costs to get here and back, it's about 1,700 baht. Pretty choppy ride. We We've have arrived. finally arrived. It looks so insane. Like for the clouds being out. Yeah, I was gonna say the best part is that it's not even sunny and the water is still so blue. Like I don't think I've ever seen water this blue. It's insane. I can't wait to get in the water and show you guys this water clarity out here. Yeah, it's just quiet. There's hardly anyone out here. We don't really see any other tourists at all, except obviously everyone on our boat, but. Wow guys, I'm just so excited to explore these these islands over the next few days with you guys. It'll be so fun. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Guys are already seeing so much reef, which is just like so amazing because pretty much everything we've seen in Thailand so far has been dead. It's so shallow. I don't know how this big ass boat is navigating through here right now, but they're somehow doing it, and I'm very impressed. It's probably two feet deep, if that. The boat dropped us off at Chang Kat Bay. We then took a long tail boat over to Mai Nam Beach, which is where we're going to be calling home for the next few days. checked in at the national park kiosk. It was 500 baht per person for five days. So that's one advantage of camping here is that you're really taking full, getting full value out of your 500 baht for the national park entrance fee. We rented our camping gear through Sabina, which was 450 and you can also do that through the national park. It's the same price, so. This is our tent and then right there's the water. And the water actually comes right up to where that swing is during high tide. <laughs> It's a massive spider in here, look at that. Oh my god, I can see its Mission, get the spider out of the tent. Need to find a stick. Perfect. All right. Alright, so inside the tent we have our pillows, sleeping pads, and some thin blankets because it's going to be pretty pretty hot the bathrooms are actually not bad i was expecting like squat or something there's full on toilet toilet paper 
sink mirror like it's more than i was expecting we also rented a locker which is such a nice perk so we can put all of our valuables like computer and just unnecessary things that we really don't want to be carrying around and also don't want to get stolen um it's only 30 baht a day which is like totally reasonable so so here's inside the restaurant we've got hot water for free and then there's drinking water back here so it's pretty nice we got both those amenities so you have the option to buy food here if you want it there's a pretty good menu but we're on a budget and pb and j's is like the perfect budget food when you're camping especially savory sweet so it doesn't matter what you're craving hit the spot lots of calories one thing that's really great about this tour is it's pretty much all Thai people, but at the same time, that's also the bad part because we have no idea what's going on. Everything's in Thai, and uh, yeah, we're just kind of floating around <laughs> and hoping that someone helps us. So this is our first time camping in Asia. We've never done this, so we're super excited and also a little nervous, hoping that that spider doesn't come back later, especially no bigger, none of his bigger friends. We don't want any of his big friends. Yeah, it's just so nice. We're like super remote. We're literally right off this beach. And sunset should be directly out that way. Just incredible. All right, guys, so we are all booked for our first snorkeling tour. It's 200 baht for, I believe, half day. Yeah, it looks like the sun's coming out right now, so it should be very, very beautiful out there. I cannot wait to get in the water, you guys. So as we're walking to the boat, we saw a monitor lizard and I was like, good eye walker. And then all of a sudden we looked and there's like a ton of them. I don't know if you guys can see any of them here, but got the wide angle. Made on the boat. Yeah. See you guys at the first stop. So stoked. Are you ready? A little nervous? We're gonna go to Nemo Village. We've never seen Confit before, so this is very exciting for us. Cannot wait. Let's get in. It's not very often that I'm left speechless by beauty. how beautiful the world is. Like, yeah. Wow, guys! If you are going to Thailand and not coming to certain islands, you are seriously missing out because that is some of the best underwater scenery I've ever seen. Like, the coral ever. just keeps on going. There's tons of little fish everywhere, and it's also Clams, like floral, fish corals that you don't see like all the time like no grass that was like flowing yeah. with the water like going back and forth the we sea anemone, anemone all anemone. the nemos anemone 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 but yeah we saw all sorts of stuff you guys like and i'm just so happy we didn't just do a day trip here because i feel like we've hardly scratched the surface and i'm just so excited for tomorrow we're gonna do two tours and yeah i just cannot wait like this yeah. is just like a 
snorkeling, free diving paradise. You don't even need to like dive here because it's all relatively shallow. So it's just incredible. All right, let's uh, start heading back to camp. There's potato bugs in our room. Lots of them. Yeah. Well tucked in, snug as bugs. Snug with bugs. <laughs> yes, lots of bugs. Lots of bugs are somehow finding their way in here, but we're on an island in the middle of Asia, so it could be much worse. We'll see you guys tomorrow. We're going to get up to tons more snorkeling and lots more adventures. Can't wait. It's going to be so fun. I know it doesn't sound very convincing because I'm tired, but it's going to be sick. Good night. Good morning and welcome to day two of Surin. And we're so excited to get on the boat for another day of free diving. Um, we've been talking with a lot of people who've been here for a few days and they keep talking about Suteya, Suteya, Suteya. Um, unfortunately, we're not going there right now, but we're doing that this afternoon and we are so excited. Apparently, it's some of the best reefs. Like she was explaining it as like swimming through a lavender field, which is just blowing my mind even <laughs> thinking about it. So I can't wait. But this morning, we're going to some awesome spots too. So. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. Take my time. Just enjoy the ride. Day two. Spot number one. had an amazing time exploring the reefs at the very eastern point of Surin. But the weather started to take a turn for the worst and our guide made decision to take us back to a safer spot, which we'd already been to, Nemo Village. And let us tell you, we were not at all disappointed. After wrapping up at Nemo Village, we made our way back to camp for a quick bite before setting off to the highly anticipated destination, Sutea. Okay guys, we're about to head out for excursion number three and we're supposed to be going to the best two places. One, where we can possibly see sharks and two, where there is the best coral but the lavender field looking coral, so very exciting. But I keep bleeding on my nose. It's a little scary. Alright, guys, we made it to the final spot for today. This is the hyped up one. Very excited. Underwater lavender fields, so they say. Let's uh, go investigate.
right guys, so we finished dinner, took a shower and stuff, but right now we're just reviewing footage and like literally just speechless. Like I We just, just feel know. so lucky because like you see this kind of stuff on National Geographic or like specific YouTube channels and you're like, wow, that's incredible. I would love to see that one day. Never expecting to actually see it. Yeah. It's and like, we did. Yeah. Like you guys, it's so hard to find good healthy reefs everything's like dying up and I just feel so so fortunate to be able to experience this incredible you guys so happy we came here even though it's pouring rain and we're camping right now yeah i mean honestly you can't have good without a little bad it makes you appreciate it more yeah literally everything else has been absolutely perfect about this trip to cern other than the weather so um the date today is December 5th. Apparently online is supposed to be decent weather right now, but if I were you guys, maybe hold Coming out. a couple months. Yeah, maybe a month or two. Tomorrow we're going to go to see this remote village. The Moken Village. They're super isolated, like they still live in wooden huts and stuff, so it'll be super cool to talk to them and kind of walk around the village and just see a different way of life. Super excited. Good morning from our final day here in the Surin Islands. Guys, I just cannot believe that we are camping on a beach like this. Like, look at this. Absolutely surreal. So beautiful. Okay, we've just made it to our last stop in all of the Saren Islands, which is the Mokin Village or Morgan Village. Pretty cool experience just walking around the village and just a simpler way of life. I haven't been pushy about like buying anything either, which is like really nice. But I do think you should come here with the mindset of purchasing something to support them. Yeah, they all have some really cool like artwork and bracelets and stuff, so and a pretty good variety. It seems like every table, like yeah, they're selling similar items, but they're all a bit different in their own way, so you can kind of find something that like resonates with you. Yeah, this is great, so many kids, lots of kitties, and people just going about their day. The Morgan Village was a ton of fun. Yeah, and we're now here just at the beach taking in the last moments of Cern Islands. And we don't know when we're gonna be back again, but we're so happy that we came and made it a priority for our trip. Yeah, we could not recommend it enough, especially if you guys are super into diving and just getting away from crowds and camping and immersed in nature. It's one of the best places to do it, honestly. But yeah, we're gonna conclude the video there, guys. I hope you found some value or entertainment from it. It's been a ton of fun for us making the video. If you haven't seen any of our other Thailand videos, click here or here. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, do all the things, guys. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.